welcome students for the class about um, natural sweeteners used in herbal uh, excipients um, this um, already uh, i think very very short uh, information i have given for you um, in the handout only i, I hope uh, i mentioned only two uh, drugs uh, which might have been uh, mentioned there as a natural sweetener especially i hope um, liquorice and uh, madhura chedi uh, which i might have given as an example but there are many very very interesting herbal plants which are very safe even we have some uh, difficulty in using sugar for diabetic patients so we used to go for sugar free tablets which are actually made by synthetic which is not at all good like saccharin which may cause cancer so in that case even better than the synthetic products we have many valuable herbal plants which are giving high yield in this regard and also high uh, sweet content especially apart from sucrose up to 2000 times it can give sweet taste without uh, elevating the sugar level or blood sugar level for the diabetic patients and also they are very healthy even so here i have taken write a note on a natural sweetening agent used as a herbal excipients in which uh, ideal properties of sweetening agents is very important to know when we want to go for a selection of a natural um, drug or even if it is a uh, if it is we are going to select some natural drug for us it is also needed some ideal properties it should uh, be uh, very much helpful it should be uh, it should have some standard parameters which has to follow and which can be used in our formulations so when you see sweetening agents should have the following ideal properties as i told they are required to be effective when used in small concentration first point when you are going for a herbal formulation whether it is natural when you are taking that it should have this condition and they must be able or stable not able stable or they must be able to stable as a wide range of temperature to which the formulations are likely to be exposed prolonged use of these agents containing preparation should not produce any carcinogenic effect from the beginning i was telling about the synthetic sweetening agent they will cause carcinogenic difficulties so they are it is a very 
difficult when a patient using a formulation for a longer period he will get any type of cancer may be possible so that should not be there that is what they made a main criteria for an agent and they should have very low and non calorific value they should be capable they should be not capable com- that is compatible compatible or capable that means it should be a capable of compatible with the ingredients which you are adding in the formulation other excipients even with an uh, with an active constituents what you are taking for the herbal formulation and they should not show batch to batch variation one day it is compatible after some time it is not compatible or one batch to another it should not change its activity or change its compatibility and they should be readily available and it should be inexpensive and uses of natural sweetening agents we are using in pharmaceutical uses in pharmaceutical industry these are used in liquid oral preparation liquid oral syrups mixtures suspension emulsion for child preparation and various liquid preparation oral preparation we are using as a sweetening agent lozenges pills and tablets and in liquid oral sugar is used to prepare syrup base to maintain the consistency and the viscosity of the preparation which you might have studied about the rheology in your physical pharmacy flow property of a liquid is very important in the liquid orals and also you will decide the type of containers and closures to be selected for the preparation will be decided by the flow property the rheology of this liquid which you are prepared and it is used to mask the bitter taste of a drug also when you are using sucrose or a syrup and sugar is also employed in coating of pills and tablets coating sugar coating you might have studied about sugar coating and honey plays an important role in ayurvedic system of medicine it is used as an important vehicle for many preparations in food industry when you come to food industry if you see sweetening agents are used to prepare jams chocolates sweets ice creams cakes candies juices soft drinks beverages chewing gums and many other food items so these two slides gave an importance of and applications of the sweetening agents and their significance so you can conclude this and you can write something in the beginning so you will be having a feasible in your ex- in your examination paper when you write so there are many examples i have given even classified them you can at least listen to that and make it if it is five mark make it into small concluded one and if they have asked sometimes 10 mark questions then you can go for wider which i have given here so that can be according to the students knowledge you can change and you can write in detail classification you see the classification here in the slide sweetening agents first it can be divided into two one is natural sweetening agent 
and synthetic sweetening agent. And in, in synthetic, we are not concentrating, you just kept idle. There are many, we are keeping it idle. Now you see natural, it is divided into number one, sac, that is saccharide sweetening agents. Example, sucrose, glucose, honey, etc. Non-saccharide sweetening agents. There are many of our secondary metabolites in plants. Terpenoids. Steroidal saponins are available. Proteins are available. Natural proteins from plants. Dihydrochalcones are available. These all are secondary metabolites from the plant which has natural sweetening agent and effect. Dihydroisocumarins, volatile oils, poly or sorry, polyols, you can say, not polyphenols, I was about to tell, the polyols, they are polyols, they are polyols means OL, polyalcohols, like what we have studied about glucose, uh, um, uh, for example, mannitol, sorbitol, these all are polyols. This is also polyols. We are selected natural polyols similar to glucose. We are having glucose and the, the carbohydrates which are having more use in the sweetening agent. We are having some polyols, specific polyols also. So, this classification when you remember, you can remember some of the example I have given in detail. So, it is possible for the student to remember at least some pictures, at least some names and their chemical names and their activity and how they are sweetening agents. You can write. You have to write something by something which can, when the correcting or the evaluating uh, teacher or evaluator should get impressed by means of your up. Up and your appear or not appear your uh, exam uh, writing the uh, uh, appearance of your answer so that's very important when you have some knowledge and when you have the classification if you write then only you can, when you study then you can imp, you, you can write more detail about what is the real aim of the question so here we are coming to first examples as we said saccharide sweetening agents and non-saccharide sweetening agent. You remember that is a natural saccharide sweetening agent for sucrose everybody knows which is taken from cane sugar and also it can be prepared from beetroot. So the sugar derived from Sanskrit word sakkara was being extracted from cane sugar in India, sucrose is a disaccharide. We know that it is a disaccharide. Sugar obtained mainly from cane juice or cane, that means sugar cane plant of sacrum officinarum geramine and from the roots of beetroot also, that means beta vulgaris family, chemopodiaceae. And sugar sucrose is most often prepared as a fine white crystalline powder. It contains of two monosaccharides alpha glucose and alpha fructose or you can say alpha d glucose and alpha d fructose so you can see the sucrose structure how they are linked by means of o linkage and how alpha linkage, you might have studied about alpha beta linkages by presence of the OH in the 
position of the OH in the joining carbon atom. So here I have made a detail you might have studied in your chemistry of natural products and here I am just giving you only the advanced structure of the element and alpha D glucose and alpha D fructose are present in sucrose. Now we are coming to the honey is a major component, natural component, natural sweetener and honey is a sugar secretion deposited in honeycomb by the bee abyss indica indian bee or abyss mellifera abyss dorsal rock bee and other species of abyss of family abidae honey is essential a solution of levelose, dextrose and sucrose and also it contains a percentage of water. Ta tree halos or tree halos is also natural sweetener obtained from a fungus which is present even in a mushroom. Tree halos also known as mycos or tree mallows is a natural alpha linked disaccharide formed by an alpha alpha 1 1 glucoside bond between two alpha glucose units same like but here both two alpha glucose which is formed. Glucose having disaccharides are there, polysaccharides are there which you might have studied in your chemistry of natural products. This is naturally available tree halos which can be obtained from a fungus. Mainly found in tree hala mana a common constituent of fungi. Amantia muscaria Tree halos is a very good natural sweetening agent which comes under saccharide. Now we are coming to the non-saccharide sweetening agent. Non-saccharide sweetening agents are those which are contain substance other than saccharides as sweet principle. They contain terpenoids, proteins, dry di dihydro chalcones, steroidal saponins, etc. as sweet principles. The non-saccharide sweetener possess some advantages over saccharide sweeteners. They are non-carcinogenic or potent sweeteners 10,000 times sweeter than sucrose and they have very low calorific values hence useful in diabetic patients. They do not have any effect on prevalence of disease. First one we can say abrusocytes, they are glycosides, abrusocytes, triterpene glycosides, Sweet principles present in leaves of Indian liquorice plant, Abrus, Precatorus, Leguminaceae family. See this picture. Liquorice means you might think there are many, many species are available. And the 
red color spot which the picture shows a small pearl like thing which we used to play i think which used to have a very traditional value in kerala and as well as in tamil nadu they used to say it is an in tamil they used to say it is kunni muttu in malayalam they used to say it is an manjadi kudu but they have different varieties this one is actually we cannot say it is the manjadi kuru manjadi kuru will not have any designs it will be somewhat an oval shape this is round with a small black shape this one this also used to play that game a traditional game which used to even in the marriages it's one of the important game with a couple they used to it's it's our culture we used to play that game and you might be remember but that one is different type of one seed and this is also different seed this looks a little different with a round and this is the plant uh, this is that different types of pictures i have taken for you like liquorice root of this plant also contain glycerin liquorice root also that is glycerin and glabra which you might have studied this is this is aprus precatos precatoris or arius that is leguminaceae family it also contain that is glycerin a triterpene glycoside abrus precatorius is a climbing herb indigenous found throughout india it is an triterpene glycosides so non saccharide varieties of natural sweetener is an you should remember the classification and always you have to read so that you can remember the names of the plants and what is the constituent responsible for sweetening agent now we are coming to the glycerin is this the liquorice root which we have already studied glycerin is a pentacyclic triterpenoid saponin glycoside obtained from the roots and stolons of glycerin or glabra leguminaceae family commonly known as liquorice other species of glycerin or glabra glycerin foetida glycerin in flata also contain this sweet principle sapodila acharas sapota sapota fruit i like more not only me you too i hope it's a brown color very sweet it looks like potato but inside the you have seeds and it will be even juice also shake also we can prepare with milk when it's a very sweet so it also gives you can see this fruit throughout the year it will give the yield if you have one plant in your house you can enjoy with the fruit sweet and tasty and acharas sapota sapotaceae is another sweet plant the latex fruit of which contain glycerin as sweet principle sapodila is the medium size tree native to central america but it also grown elsewhere in the tropics they are triterpene saponins steroidal saponins poly 
Porosite A and B. You can see the structure of polyporosite A. There is a bond. I have just mentioned we can see that what is the bond difference. Polyside A and polyside and also another one. Polyside A is very important for the sweetening agent. Obtained from rhizomes of natural, that is North America from pododium or poly, sorry, poly podium poly podium glycerisa polypodiaceae is a family commonly known as liquorice fawn initially the sweet taste of the rhizome was attributed to the presence of sweet glycoside glycerisin osladin is also same structure only one bond will not be there you can see that I have shown that osladin. You can see the osladin. What is there? You can just you can see that I'm, there is a blinker. We can see that is a, I'm blinking. And here also, osladin. There is no bond. Two hydrogens are more. When you remove two hydrogen, automatically what will happen? Oxidation. That means polypodoside A can be obtained from osladin. So osladin is also a sweetening principle which is present in polypodium vulgare. Polypodium glycerisa that is, po poly, that is polypodoside A is a novel Intensely, it is sweet content of a rhizome of polypodium glycerisa. So, because we have seen glycerisa glabra, but polypodium glycerisa we have not seen. So, that's why I am just focusing on that polypodium, that is polypodoside A, which is having very good sweet effect, which is also a root, but is slightly different. You see, the man is showing, this is the fern. This is the plant and the root you see, it looks like this. So which contain this compound was rated by human taste panel as exhibit 600 times sweetness intensity of 6 percentage weight by volume of aqueous sucrose solution. Just imagine, so sweet and natural available. So next one is pretrocaryocytes. They also that means uh, the, that is uh, petro or you can say pretrocaryocytes uh, A and B The novel, the two novel potentially sweet 3, 4 Cicodam marionite saponins. Cicodam or Cicodam maronide. Cicodam maronide. 3, 4 Cicodam maronide saponins. Petrocaryocyte. Petro, that means you can say P silence, you can say Tero or Petro. Petrocaryocyte A and B are isolated from leaves and stems of Chinese leaves. Petrocaryo Paliaris. These petrocaryocytes are proved as non-toxic, safe and potent sweetening agents. Petrocaryocytes A and B are 50 to 100 times sweeter than 2% sucrose respectively. This is the plant, this is the flower and it is a steroidal saponin. 
spectrocaryocytes A and B. And strogen, it is isolated from water extracts of leaves of Storongine Mergunis Storongine Mergunis This is a new compound isolated from the plant and cyclocaryocyte caryocyte 3 intense sweet cyclocaryocyte 1 2 3 are obtained from the leaves of leaves of cyclocarya paleares cyclocarya paleares the plant is same which you have seen in the last slide cyclocarya paleares cario that means cyclocaryocytes 1 2 3 it is a main sweetening principle in the plant process post Possessing about 250 times more than the sweetening, sweetening intensity of sucrose. This is also steroidal saponins. Steviocyte. Stevia. In Malayalam it is called stevia or madura chedi. Tamil it is called madura kire. Madura kire. Stevia is the safest natural sweetener and it can substitute sucrose in various preparation and formulations. Steviocytes are obtained from leaves of small perennial herb Stevia rabidina, rabidiana. Composite family and native to Paraguay, South Brazil and cultivated in Japan, Southeast Asia, USA, etc. And Steviocide was first isolated principle of this plant which has 200 to 300 times sweeter principle than sucrose. In addition to steviocytes A and B, steviobiocyte, ribodiocyte A, B, C, D, E and dulcocyte A were isolated from stevia rebodolinia leaf. The main component of the leaf and their sweetness potency is on this rebidiocyte A, B, C, D and E and duluc, that is dulcocyte A of stevia rebidulinia. Ribiana is also present in the plant. Ribiana is the common name of highly purity ribidiocyte A which is obtained from the stevia plant and it is sweetener and more delicious than steviocyte. It also provides zero calories and has a clean sweet taste with No significant undesirable taste characters have been observed. This is the, the same thing. Madura Chedi, Madura Chedi or Madura, that's Madram. Madram Chedi or Madura Kira, you can also say in Tamil. Protein sweeteners, example, Taumatin. The Taumatin are a family of very sweet protein present in the fruit of tropical plant name Taumato coccus Danili Marantiaceae 
a bushy plant that grows in West Africa. West Africa. All the forms of taumantin are intensely sweet and have 207 amino acid. The two predominant forms present in this plant leaf is taumantin 1 and taumantin 2 differs by 5 amino acids. Already they have the structure 207 amino acids. In that a small difference and they are very good sweetening agent. You see the power of this sweetening agent which is that is taumantin exhibits a very sweet taste that is rate to be 2000 to 10,000 times sweeter than sucrose. These are our protein sweeteners. Miraculin, the taste modifying protein Miraculin has the unusual property of being able to modify a sour taste into a sweet taste. Richardilla dulcifia, Sapotaceae. A shrub native to tropical West Asia produced red berries that has an active ingredient glycoprotein, glycoprotein molecule with some railing carbohydrate climb chains called Miraculin, that is glycoprotein containing 191 amino acids. This is the fruit of the plant and Miraculin is a taste modifier of glycoprotein extracted from the fruit of Sincipalium dulcificum. Sincipalum or since not pallium, Sincipalum dulcificum. See the fruit, a beautiful protein sweetener. Curculin, curculin isolated from curculingo latifolia, a plant grows in Malaysia, has an intriguing property of modifying sour taste into sweet taste. In addition to this taste modifying activity, curculin itself elicit a sweet taste. Curculin has an unique property to exhibit both taste modifying activities. This is the plant and it is also available in our place but it originates from Malaysia. Moli, that is monilin. Monilin is present in red berries of West Africa plant. Dioscoriophyllium. Dioscoriophyllium. Cumensi. Dills is the scientist name. This protein is about 3000 times sweeter than sucrose on a weight basis. You see the plant and see the fruit which is hanging from the plant. And that's why I have taken a picture of that fruit. And the sweet that is protein sweetener. Monilin. Mabinlin or Mabinlin, Mabinlin the sweet taste polypeptide exists in fruits of Chinese plant Caparis Masaki. Mabinlin, Mabinlins are sweet 
tasting proteins extracted from the seeds of this Caparis Masaki Chinese plant. You see the plant and the fruit and the seed. Barazin, that is Barazin, Barazin or Barazin or Brazazin. You can say bra, not Barazin, Brazazin. You can say Brazazin. Brazazin is also contained in a fruit of Pentadi Plantara. Or plantara, you can say pen, pentadi, pentadi, plantara, brasiana, or brasiana, you can say brasiana, it is in Brazil, brasiana, brasiana. Pentadin fruits of the plant, pentadi, plantra, brasiana, a climbing shrub found in climbing shrub. Found in some countries of tropical Africa such as Gobon, contain 12 kd of sweet, that much sweet taste of protein. You see the fruit which is about the Penta di Plantrana, Plantra Brassiana. Protein sweetener. Neo Hesperidin. Dihydrochalcone. Dihydrochalcone is the next classification of the plant. So, Neohesperidin is obtained from the peels of fruits of citrus. Aranticum. Rutiaceae. Citrus aranticum. Aranticum. Commonly known as civil orange. Civilly orange or bitter orange. Bitter orange. The Flavonoid compound neohesperidin, hesperidin you may have heard about, this is neohesperidin, is itself bitter, but dilute alkali extract gives a sweet compound called as neohesperidin, dihydrochalcone, which is about a thousand times sweeter than sucrose and has a slow onset and persist for some time. This is that fruit which you know in our place also we have and this is the structure of neohesperidin. It's a glycosidal linkage of neo dihydrochalcone. Dihydrochalcone. Neohesperidin dihydrochalcone which is a dihydrochalcone classification of sweetening, natural sweetening agent. Nirinjin dihydrochalcone uh, ch uh, chalcone is another another compound. This is sweet principle nirinjin is a is a type of dihydrochalcone. The flavonoid parent compound nirinjin is a bitter present in the peels of fruits of plant citrus, paradisi, rutaceae. Commonly known as grapefruit. You see this is commonly known as grapefruit. It has a very good interesting. It is also citrus fruit. And however the nirinjin extract is dilute alkali gives a sweet principle nirinjin dihydrochalcone which is nearly thousand times sweeter than sucrose. This is the structure. Glycosidal linkage, two glucose only, it is written like that, which is having a glycosidal linkage, which nirinjin dihydrochalcone, two uh, chalcone, is have four, three hydroxy groups, two benzene ring, and there is a propane group in between, propenone, that is dihydrochalcone. Hesperidin dihydrochalcone, hesperidin dihydrochalcone, the parent compound. Hesperitin, not hesperidin. Hesperitin and hesperidin are having same structure, but hesperitin in nature is isolated from the peel of plant citrus sinensis and citrus lemony. Lemon, rutaceae family. Citrus lemony, citrus sinensis. See the fruits, how beautiful they are. They have sweet actually. 
there is the the reduction of reduction of hesperidin in dilute alkali yields hesperidin dihydrochalcone or hesperidin also you can say both are same hesperidin dihydrochalcone partially hydrolysis of this compound either by acid or by dissolving or immobilization by means of enzymatic hydrolysis gives rise to sweet hesperidin dihydrochalcone which is 300 times sweeter than sucrose you see hesperidin dihydrochalcone and hesperidin dihydrochalcone are same structure which is you can see there is methoxy group of the 4 oh group 3 oh group and 4 or fourth oh group is with methoxy group and attached with two glucose molecule that's all the different structure will be similar simply not i have not taken the structure just it will be students when you see the structures of similar structures and you can see that glycosidal linkage it easy for you to write also to impress the answer more feasible and this is trihydrochalcone example of sweetening agent dihydro isocumarin there is an dihydro isocumarin also one mm-hmm. plant which is giving that is philo dorlin is only one plant one one drug that is philo dorlsin philo dorlsin or dulsin you can say philo philo dulsin philo dulsin is a structure is an dihydro isocumarin isocumarin philo dulsin is obtained from the plant hydrangea macrophylla saxifra graciae sa, that is saxif fragraceae frag fra, that is fragraceae saxifragaceae commonly known as ama amacha this is a flower very beautiful flower some of them violet red pink and it is japan and china it's away the plant is indigenous to japan and china and is found in north and south america and temperate hills of india particularly assam and in himalayas the sweet principle is 300 to 400 times sweeter than sucrose this is an example or a classification comes under dihydro isocumarins so dihydro chalcones example one more i have added dihydro chalcones glycyphylin it should have come little above the slide but i have to given here don't mistake it should come in the dihydro chalcones which i have already explained and only the one example it has been changed the slide here the sweet principle glycyphylin is present in almost all parts of the similex glycophilia liliaceae family commonly known as brocopcini this is the plant brocopcini the fruit it is indigenous to india and found in himalayas it is mainly propagated through rhizomes and tuber tubers rhizome and tubers you can develop the roots and the sweet principle is dihydrochalcone glycoside 100 to 200 times sweeter than rhizome uh, sucrose trilobactin trilobactin is obtained from the plants of simlococcus paniculata simlo kca commonly known as sweet leaf saffron berry lud this plant is found in india and being cultivated in large scale and it is 400 to 1000 times sweeter than sucrose see the plants and the fruit so beautiful it's a it's a actually bluish fruit is also a dihydro chalcone dihydro chalcones perlatrin volatile oil monoterpene volatile oil is also in classification one one example i have given it's a terpene also 
we can come up, but we are just classifying to remember. Perlatrin or perlatrin, you can say. Perlatrin is a monoterpene volatile oil obtained from the leaves, seeds and flowers, tops of plant, perilia, fruticensis, labiate. This is the plant and the leaves are little uh, uh, they will be having more trichomes, spines will be there. And the plant is indigenous to India and found in Japan and Southeast Asia. The perlat perlatrin is 400 to 2000 times sweeter than sucrose on a unit weight basis. 4 to 8 times sweeter than saccharin. Mm -hmm. The volatile oil Provides flavors to sauce and confectionery as contain the super sweet principle. Perlatrin, a UPAC name is 4 propane 1 in 2 cyclohexane 1 in carbaldehyde oxime. This is a structure, it's an oxime structure, N O H. Perlat perlatrin is an important constituent which you should know about a volatile oil constituent which is also having sweetening natural sweetening agent it's a specific and important to remember very interesting you should know what are the sweetening agents which is available they are monoterpene volatile oil now we are coming to the last stage of the polyol sweeteners as i told polyol sweeteners like like a glucose molecule Lilitol, polyols, many OH groups. Xylitol. Xylitol is an apolyl with a sweetening power similar to sucrose found in sweets and vegetables. It has many advantages of the food ingredient. It does not undergo milliard reaction responsible for both darkening and re reduction in a nutritional value of proteins. Structure you can see xylitol and glucose. Glucose have six carbon atom. Xylitol have also you can find that is it has also carbon atom five carbon atom. So there is a small difference between them just to show that it is also a polyol like sweetener polyol sweetener erythritol is also a is a polyol sweetener a sweetener substance extracted from certain lichens of algae and algae it is used medicinally as a vasodilator erythritol 1 2 3 4 butene tetraol 4 oh group it is white crystalline powder with an odorless, with a clean, sweet taste that is similar to sucrose. Structure you see glucose, 1, 2, 3, 6 carbon atom in glucose. Here you can see only 4 carbon atoms. So sweet and erythritol, erythritol, tetros. So this is also poly. You should know it's approximately 70% of sweet as sucrose and flows easily because of its non-hygroscopic characters. Erythritol is a good taste bulk sweetener that is sweet suitable for variety of reduced calorie and sugar free food. It is also a poly sweetener. So this is about this class. Thank you. But you have to go through the classification and examples in detail sweetening of herbal formulation using herbs you should know how much herbs i have taken very little still more there are many researches are going on many are available interesting to know about the plant's name and its constituents how it is possible to make sweetener or sweetening agent in natural please go through and please try to read this and make use of it. Thank you.
thank you for being with me in the class